In this question, an experimenter is attempting to carry out a double replacement reaction between two solutions. One of the solutions is silver nitrate and the other is strontium chloride. So I'm just going to write out that first half of our equation. So we have silver nitrate, which is AgNO3. And we have strontium chloride, which is SrCl2. So those are our two uh, compounds we start with. Both of them are soluble because it tells us in the question they're both in solution. So we've got these two separate solutions that are mixed together. Now, if you visualize what these solutions actually look like, because these are ionic compounds in solution, they're made up of ions. So this is actually made up of Ag plus ions and NO3 minus ions. And similarly, this is made up of strontium 2 plus ions and Cl minus ions. And when an ionic compound is dissolved in water, those ions separate from one another and they just kind of float through the water. So when, when we uh, take each of these solutions and we pour them into this beaker to mix them together, all of the silver and nitrate ions are going to intermingle freely with the strontium and the chlorine ions. So once these are mixed together, we kind of just have this mixture of all these uh, ions together. And the only way that we're going to have a reaction that occurs where we get a different product is if one of the possible compounds is insoluble and therefore would come out of the solution and form a solid. So let's think about our possible uh, compounds we could get from this. So it's a double replacement reaction. So that means that we're swapping both sides of each compound. So the silver and the strontium, those are our metals, are going to swap partners. So we're going to have silver with chlorine and we're going to have strontium with nitrate. So we need to have a think about these two compounds and decide, are these soluble in water? If they are, then nothing's really going to change. There's no reaction that's going to happen because all of these ions are just going to stay in solution. They're going to continue floating around. Nothing's really going to happen. Whereas if one of these can form a solid, or in other words, a precipitate, then those will combine and come out of solution as a solid and we will have a reaction that occurs. So let's check out our reference sheet. We're looking first at silver chloride. So we're looking for anything about silver or chlorine specifically. Oh, here I'm seeing something about silver. Salts of silver, it says, are insoluble except when combined with nitrate or acetate. So that explains why we had silver nitrate to start with in our question that was a solution. That was soluble, but we end up with silver chloride. And silver chloride is not on that exceptions list. So silver chloride is going to be insoluble. So that is insoluble. What about strontium nitrate? So we're looking for something about strontium or nitrate. And I see here salts of nitrate are soluble and there are no exceptions. So all nitrates are soluble. So based on that, we know that this is soluble. Okay, so we found out that silver chloride is insoluble and therefore when we mix together these two solutions, the silver chloride is going to react together and come out of the solution to form a solid precipitate. So let's see, we should end up with AgCl insoluble. That's going to be the solid. So we should have an S after the AgCl. The strontium nitrate should have an AQ afterwards to show it's aqueous or it's dissolved in water. And that's going to be this second equation here. It's important to notice the only difference between these three equations is those state symbols. So make sure you get the right ones. We wanted solid silver chloride and aqueous strontium nitrate. The way we figured that out was by figuring out that silver chloride is insoluble, but strontium nitrate is soluble. If both of these were soluble, we would have had no reaction occurring.